Hey what's up YouTube and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. With the 2.4 livestream coming to an end, Mihoyo has given us new information about new characters, new events, and the new islands. I will also put the new redemption codes in the description box down below. Make sure to redeem them within 24 hours of the livestream ending. With that out of the way, let's go into the new characters, Shenhe and Yunjin. Yunjin is going to be a Geo polearm support that buffs the normal attacks of your current party members. The story of a girl becoming a hero. Shenhe is a cryo polearm support that's going to buff cryo damage as well as physical damage based on her attack value. This isn't the base attack value like Bennett or Kujosara, but it's just the overall attack value that you see as the final product of the character in the stats. It seems like Mihoyo is going to continue their double banner tradition with Yunjin and Shinha appearing in the first banner with Xiao alongside. In the second half of the banners, we're going to have Zhongli and Ganyu. We're also going to have new hangout events for Ningguang and Yunjin, as well as a new 5-star polearm named the Calamity Queller. For the first of the new events, it seems like we'll be able to create our own fireworks after we receive a gadget called the Launch Tube. By incorporating different techniques, we can improve the quality of our fireworks, like the color, size, and the height. Next up, it looks like we're going to be having sort of a shadow mini game. If you look at the bottom left, it seems that we're going to move an object to try to match the shadow image at the bottom left. The next event that we're going to be having is I think going to be essential to the story quest. Uh, it's essentially collecting all the jade chamber parts that got broken off. If you guys remember the last Liwei Lantern Right Festival, Ningguang had essentially slammed the jade chamber on the sea monster that was attacking Liwei Harbor. Now for the Lantern Right Rewards. We're going to be having an event where we can choose one free 4 star character. And of course Yinjin is part of this roster, so you can get her for free. We can also get the new Ningguang skin for free by participating in the Lantern Right Festival, as well as the Keqing skin for Genesis Crystals. As an overview for the event rewards, we can receive Primo Gems, Crowns, EXP Books, Mystic Enhancement Ores, Furnishing Blueprints, Recipes, Mora, and Ascension Stones. Also, as you can see in the top right corner, we can also get 10 intertwined fates by just logging in daily. The next event we're going to have is an event called a Study in Potions event. This is going to be a combat based event. The special thing about this event is once you complete an area, your characters are going to essentially be uh, put on hold for a while. And after you select your team, you'll also be able to select three potions to help you through this event. The next event seems like it's going to be a picture event. You're going to get Primo Gems, Character EXP, Weapon Ascension Materials, more, and Talent Level Up Materials by taking pictures of this little Tanuki that we have seen a lot in Inazuma. To claim these rewards, it looks like we're going to have to walk through Liwei and Masat and take pictures of this little Tanuki. Finally, Mihoyo is bringing back one of my favorite events, the Wind Trace event. This is the sort of hide and seek event where you disguise yourself as sort of a decoration and another player is a seeker that tries to find you. And finally, we're going to be getting a new area in the Genshin map called Enkonomiya. We're going to have a lot more challenges, enemies, and bosses we can end up fighting, and possibly a leak of new Spiral Abyss mobs we can fight in the future, like these Hydro-infused Geo Bishops, as well as a new Pyro Abyss Herald. If this does show up in this Spiral Abyss, I think Barbara and Tartaglia will have a lot more viability if this Pyro Abyss Herald resumes the same mechanics as the previous ones. Finally, here is the new Enkonomiya map trailer. Oh, 
If it came to it, I could always destroy another GG. Finally, for the last part of this video, we're going to get into some quality of life changes. They're going to have some abyss changes, they're going to have some changes about the shortcut wheel, uh, they're going to optimize map interface, and they're going to optimize interface for crafting and forging. For the first change, it seems as once you are unable to complete a challenge, the challenge will gray out like right here and you will be able to easily tell if you are able to complete the challenge or not. We are also going to change how we see the opponents in 1st, 2nd, and 3rd chambers. The second quality of life change is only for PC and console users but we will be able to configure our scroll wheel by changing the icons and positionings once you open up your scroll wheel. You can change your scroll wheel by going to settings, keybinds, and then press configure scroll wheel. Third quality of life change will be able to select the region we want to go on quickly instead of dragging across the map. And the final quality of life change is they're going from a single file view to a sort of grid view where you can see all the images of the materials. For teapot changes, you'll be able to select multiple items and make them as sort of your own set. Another thing that we're going to have is uh, this musical instrument that we're probably going to receive from the Lantern Rite Festival event, but you'll be able to play all the Genshin OSTs from Monsta and Liwei. It looks like this musical instrument is going to take a lot of load, so hopefully uh, Mahoyo increases the load limit again for people that are super involved in their teapot world. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the Genshin Impact 2.4 livestream. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any Genshin Impact content, especially 2.4 content. This update looks like it's going to be a banger. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.